Hello and welcome to The Truth About Cats and Dogs. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. By the end of this video, you'll be able to click refresh and then get a new fact about cats and dogs. And even if you're not a pet lover, I would encourage you to check out this video. What it really teaches is Power Query, and Power Query can certainly be used for business in addition to personal uses. So let's head to Excel, exercise one. Did you know there's two URLs, one provides a cat fact and one provides a dog fact. And we can open these in our normal web browser, but we can also open them in Power Query. And that means we can get the facts right into the Excel grid. It's pretty cool. Let me open the Cat Fact Ninja in a normal web browser. I'll just click this link. Here I've opened that URL in my web browser. And the Cat Fact is returned in a JSON string. And the good news is Power Query is awesome at processing JSON. There's also a similar URL for dog facts. Let's open this one in my web browser. And once again, I get this dog fact. And once again, we're going to pull this in through Power Query. So let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. OK, now to pull that into the Excel worksheet using Power Query, we go to Data. And under the Get and Transform group of commands, we use From Web. And we just paste in the URL and click OK. Awesome. Now, let's go ahead and give this a new name. I'm going to call this cat fact. Seems reasonable. And now we can control what we want to return to our worksheet. So I only want the fact, so I'm going to right click on it and select drill down. Perfect. Now I'll go to home, close and load to. And back in Excel, I want to send it to a table in an existing worksheet. I pick the cell and I click OK. OK, awesome. And now we have our cat fact. And once we do our dog fact, I'll show you how we can get new facts. Exercise three. So once again, we go to data and under the get and transform group of commands, we select from web. And now we just paste in our URL and click OK. Now this one looks a little different. So what we need to do is select open as we need to identify it as a JSON. This looks better. Now we drill into the list and we click record. Under attributes, we once again click record. OK, and now we have our text. And once again, I'm going to right click and drill down. Now let's change our query name. I'm going to call this, I don't know, how about dog fact? That seems reasonable. Cool. Now we go to home, close and load to. Back in Excel, we want to send it to a table into an existing worksheet. We pick a cell and we click OK. And now we've got it. So now I can close this queries and connection pane. And now I've got my daily fact. So when I'm ready to learn something new, all I need to do is go to data and refresh all. And boom. And now we have our new facts. And let's format this so it all appears in this cell. I'm going to open the format cells dialog. I'm going to click on alignment and I'm going to select wrap text. That looks better. And let's go check out our new cat fact. And once again, I'm going to open the format cells dialog and wrap text. Awesome. This looks perfect. So just like that, we can simply click refresh and we get new facts about cats and dogs. And by the way, I've noticed this cat fact API does have some rate limits, so you can't spam it, but you can get a few facts every day. So even if you don't love cats or dogs, hopefully this power query exercise was informative. And if you are a pet lover, then I hope you love this workbook. And if you don't want to rebuild it from scratch, you can simply download the file. The link's in the description. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my Pivot Table for Beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a Pivot Table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of Pivot Tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 